Bello approves payment of 30,000 Naira minimum wage for Kogi workers. Welcome to the news. And thank you for tuning in to listen. Kogi State Governor Yaya Bello has approved the implementation of 30,000 Naira as minimum wage for the workers in the state. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Is he just implementing it? Wow. He's just implementing the 30,000 Naira minimum wage. Ha! <laughs> At this point, I give up. So he has not been paying 30,000 Naira minimum wage. Owoko do... Owoko Money when reach anything. Wahala. And he wants to come out for the president and he thinks it's the perfect time. Oh, very unsmart move, sir. It is very unsmart move, sir. It is obvious we now see that he's need to campaign. Need us in detail. Please stay with us. Kogi State Governor Yaya Berlu has approved the implementation of 30,000 Naira as minimum wage for the workers in the state. The Secretary of State Government for Lashari Arike Ayuade disclosed this on Tuesday after an extensive meeting with the organized labor in Lokoja. She blamed the delay in the implementation on their inability for the committee to meet regularly due to the COVID-19 pandemic, which has now been overcome. The SSG equally commended the organized labor for the understanding and patience, which she said has resulted into the signing of the implementation of a new minimum wage. In his remark, the Deputy Governor Chief Edward Onoja held organized labor for the understanding and commitment to reach an agreement amicably without resorting to strike action. He described Governor Bello as a leader who is passionate about the welfare of civilians and will continue to give priority attention to its workforce. Also, the State Chairman of the Nigerian Labor Congress, Comrade Ono Edoka, said Kogi State civil servants have been brought to the same level as the counterparts in other states already implementing the new minimum wage. Hmm. Yay, yay. I think the step taken by Kogi Governor Kogi State is preparation towards his becoming next president. Hmm. Hmm. These so called politicians are using your brains wisely. Please, I'm not a Mongo. Those who does not know that this is just a move, this is just this is just campaigning should know it. He did not, then all of a sudden, COVID-19, this, COVID-19 since 2019. Says how many years ago? Uh. <laughs> since we have all decided not to use it wisely, I'm not among. It is disheartening that some Nigerians could be gullible. I'm, t- I'm saying this gullible. You know, get money means say you know, get sense. Think, people. This system, their system is always to keep you down from poverty so that they can always manipulate you. What will 30,000 Naira do for you as a Nigerian, considering the value of Naira? Nothing, sir. Speak to those that are gullible. Speak to them very well. Maybe they will hear you. See, they don't want to hear my own. There are people who have sworn that, ah, they have taken their life to somebody's feet and said, I will serve you to the day I die. And I'm looking at these people. Ha-ha. Do you know you can do so much for yourself? These people don't care. They don't care about you. They give you money that's not, never going to be enough. Never. Their strategy is to keep you in hunger so that when they come with a cock and bull story, you will have no option. Look at what is happening. There is false custody in Lagos State. There is false custody over there. And then, you know, things are getting hard. As you know now, if fall is cast, normal, normal, on a normal, things are going to be expensive. I mean, fall is going to be, the pump price will be increased. According to information getting to what they said, they saw 200, 250. Filling station. We have not even gotten to the area of um, subsidy. The subsidy was placed on hold. We have not gotten to that. They are selling for 250, 200 naira. Per petrol, which was previously sold for 87. What, what am I saying? There is a time petrol was sold for 15 naira per liter. Yes, now with 1,000 naira, you can bounce with your keg, 20 liters. You can bounce to your keg to the filling station, but now. Even if he decides to increase it to 70,000 naira against uh, what the government give, there is nothing that can be done to you. Sir, this is your strategy. It could work. It cannot work.
it shall never be well with you. Oh my goodness. The 18 months salary and pay, the effects of hardship and many suffered. Not even to talk of suicide committed by civil servant because of your wickedness. You will never win presidency if the Lord lives. Evil will never depart. Oh my God. This is coming from somebody that has been broken. This is coming from, for somebody to come out, come out online and say this. Yes, most times I don't believe on social media. But this one, ha, it means you're not treating the people well. They have not treated the people well. Then you have the audacity. I mean, they nerf these politicians have. They nerf they have. Like they nerf they have. Without a civilization of minimum wage, you are owing the workers. Now that the implementation is done, I pity you could give state workers. It is not funny. It is not funny. Give young people a chance to govern. No means saying that people like Yaya Bello, he's the worst young person in leadership in Nigeria. <laughs> Mr. Man, have you settled your godfather? If not, how are you going to pay the minimum wage when you are owing the poor civil servant arrears? God will judge our political leaders. It is very, very sad. Like, very, very sad. The election is on the way. My problem is, these out so-called politicians think that they are to be fooled. See that we are to be fooled by their good gesture only when it is time for campaign. Yes, yeah, so. Isn't it obvious? Ah. My own is, at the end of the day, it is not just that we are going to stay woke. It is, what do we do with our wokeness? I hope you are not going to sit down on the fence and say we are not going to vote. Though. You not voting means you are endorsing the wrong person for Nigeria, whether I like it or not. You saying, oh, you are not going to go out to vote means you are one of a problem to have. You have to come out and make your vote count. Think about it. They want you to believe that your vote does not mean anything. But yes, they spend millions campaigning. What does it tell you? It means these people are lying. Our votes do actually count. If not, people will not be coming out to campaign. They can easily sit down. Do whatever they want to do and do the result. No problem. This one, B says some people should just forget their salaries. When it was half, they could not pay. It is very sad. It is very sad. <laughs> imagine. Just can you imagine somebody who was being paid 20,000 naira as a den or 18,000? Yes, 18,000 naira. Then you have not been able to pay them money. Then you are. Ah. I weep for Kogi people. Dear Kogi civil servants, I weep. I rejoice with you upon the approval of a 30,000 naira minimum wage. Notwithstanding, I have the few urge to remind you that approval is not implementation. Therefore, rejoice with caution. I say this because with this system, we have had so many countless approvals, which speech space will not permit me to enumerate here, that are nowhere close to actual implementation. Actual implementation means evidential payment in your salary account. Note that also there is every possibility implementation may lead to massive retrenchment. In view of this, beckon on your various representatives to be witty in their bargains on this. There's this forewarning is a caution on due celebration and on wise anticipated spending. Yours in the struggle. <laughs> okay, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling.